Hey, it's Christy Kerner from Real Women, Real Happy. I am delighted to introduce our featured guest today, Jackie. Jackie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, hi, I am a Instagram uh, lifestyle blogger, um, a somewhat newlywed and an event planner. Um, and I am a Disney fanatic. <laughs> Oh, perfect. And what part of the world are you in? Are you close enough to Disney that that works out for you? Yes, I am in Southern California, LA area. So it's well, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. A lot of Disney fanatics, I think, would wish that they could say the same. I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And tell us a little bit. So what is it that you, within your Instagram world, what is it that you most like to talk about? Um, I think my favorite is just to talk about, um, normal life, um, married life. My husband and I are still somewhat newlyweds and so we're learning and I just want to talk about it as I go. Very cool. That's yeah. terrific. All right. Uh, to get to know you a little bit more, tell us what would be a couple of um, hobbies that you have or, or skills or something that, you know, outside of um, having fun with all of the Disney things available to you, what else would we find you doing? Um, I'm definitely there a lot, um, but other than Disney, um, I like to I like to hang out with my friends and have movie nights. Um, that's definitely a big thing that we like to do. Um, I love country music and country line dancing. Um, so you know, normally I'm at Stagecoach this weekend, but uh, wow. Not. Okay, so wait, are you from California or yes, where did this? Born and raised in this area. What? And you got country out of that situation. That's yes. impressive. I feel like that's a little unusual. You know, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of country fans here in LA, actually. Um, so yeah, I definitely, when I was in college, I was going country line dancing multiple times a week. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do. That's awesome. Very yeah. good. All right. Well, as you know, what we're what we're excited to talk about today is really you know, through this series, we try and help women focus on one area of their life at a time that they can make a difference in to create a better sense of overall happiness. So tell me, what is an area in your life where you feel like you have kind of found your rhythm and been able to create a good sense of peace and balance and happiness? Um, I would have to say, I think my marriage and just my relationship with my husband is a an area of my life where I'm like happy and content in. Um, we've been together for almost eight years. Um, and so wow. we've definitely, since I was 15, so wow. um, we've definitely had some time to grow up together and, uh, but we're still, we're still learning. But I think my relationship with my husband is probably an area of my life that I am very happy with. <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about that. I mean, where, where did you start? Um, what kind of challenges did you find you had to overcome to be able to create this sense of, of balance in that area? Well, definitely um, starting dating so young. Um, we have been together solid the whole entire time. We haven't had any breaks. And so we, we grew up together. Um, we have had to go through high school and graduation and college and our careers and everything. And so um, being able to walk through that together has definitely created a really strong bond and strength in our relationship. Um, so I think that has just contributed a lot to it. Okay. It seems like a lot of people grow a lot during those years, clearly, obviously, and throughout your 20s. And it's easy for people to grow apart. How do you figure that you two are both growing, but in line? How's that working out? You know, <laughs> It's hard. It was really hard um, going through that. Uh, but I think that we just, from the beginning, we were committed to, we knew at 15, we were like, we're going to be together. And so um, just committing to that and continuing to communicate and make our, um, our needs and, and wants in our relationship clear, um, I think was a big part or is a big part. Tell us a little bit about how you do that. How do you um, ensure that you have good communication? Um, you know, with boys, they are, you have to be very clear with them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we found that we just have to make, you know, to say, this is my expectation of this day, or this is what I'm expecting of you, um, or vice versa. He, you know, has to do the same thing because we can't read each other's mind. Um, and so just being able to state exactly what we need 
um, has been great. And now we are growing into the fact of like, okay, I don't have to say, I expect you to take the trash out. I just, we do it. It's a part of our relationship now, or that was a silly example, but something, you know, like that. Sure. Yeah. Very good. And, and what else have you found? You know, do you have any kind of rituals that you do on a weekly or a monthly or an annual basis to align yourselves with each other? Yeah, we definitely, um, we try and have a date night every date night or date day kind of depends on our work schedule, but a date where it's just set aside specifically, not just we're going to hang out at the house, but, um, something where we try and intentionally go to a movie or, intentionally go and get dinner or do something creative. Um, so every, every week, every couple of weeks, we try and make sure we have that. Um, we also try to get away every once in a while, um, go out of town to like Palm Springs, go sit by the pool for two days um, or something like that is very helpful, even though we don't have kids. And so, you know, we can hang out and it's just us now, but it's, it's very different being able to connect away from the home. I think that's true. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that you two are a lot alike, or would you say that you're more in the opposites of track? We what are would you say? very opposite. Really? Yeah. We in are very. Ways? Um. He is very. He's a very serious man. Um. Most of the time, uh, he is very routine. Is his thing. He likes to do the same thing. He doesn't like to get out of his comfort zone stuff like that. And I have been all the different jobs. I worked with children. I um, was a photographer, I'm a blogger, I'm very outgoing, I'm all the things. And so we have had to, I think that the opposites attract, you know, cliche thing is very true, at least for us, um, because we balance each other out. He has brought me home to like learn how to enjoy being home more often. And I brought him into public more often. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that, that often happens, you know, the responsible one really appreciates all of the color and life and yeah. creativity that the, uh, the other one brings and the one that's a little more all over and out there and vibrant appreciates the grounding, and the focus yeah. that their partner can bring. Definitely. Yeah, that's interesting. So, you know, it's, it's interesting that you've been able to create such alignment between you when you are so different. Um, so early on in your relationship, I mean, eight years isn't uh, isn't nothing for sure. But you are still also really young, so right. that's that's really impressive. What kind of tips would you give other people that are, you know, in the same place as you in regards to the fact that they love their sweetheart and that they are very very different, but mm -hmm. they haven't yet been able to find that sense of balance and being able to be aligned and communicate well and all that. Yeah, I think one major thing is that. Um, we need to continually learn about each other. Um, we you know, feel like we've been together for so long, but there's still so much we want to learn. And so continue to strive for that, um, I think, is a big thing because then you learn how to balance each other, learn, you know, all this stuff. Um, so just realizing you're never going to know everything about that for the, your person um, because we're growing and changing. Um, yeah. And so accepting that is definitely um, is a big thing piece of advice that I would give yeah how do you feel like you learn more about your sweetheart um by the spending time you know this the intentional time and talking and um is definitely one way like really asking questions of how they're feeling and and what they're liking this month or whatever and I also think just watching each other um is a big thing watching each other what what he's watching on tv and and what he wants to do outside of work and all of that yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Is he, is he a Disney fan too? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I thought you were going to say yes, and I was going to assume that that was helpful. But <laughs> no, he is a Disney fan because of me. He actually proposed to me at Disneyland, Aww. which was like the worst thing for him. He's such an introvert, <laughs> but it was like a dream come true for me. <laughs> okay, that is a sweetheart, man. Yeah. That's, that's good. <laughs> Mad props. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Well, very good. So tell, tell me just, I guess, um, a last couple questions here. What would you say, you know, what, it, what do you hope that your relationship looks like five years from now? What are you looking to grow toward? In five years, I would hope to have a family, hope to have grown our family a little bit. Um, I don't know how many at that point, but <laughs> by a little bit. And um, 
I think just being able to, I don't know, I want to not be in this newlywed phase. I feel like so many people are like, oh, it's the best, the honeymoon phase. But I just, I want to get into our marriage more um, and just be settled in. We, we own a house. And so um, I think in five years, I'd like to have a lot of projects here done. And, um, and yeah, I don't know. He's very set in his career. Um, but I want him to move forward in his career too and get promotions. And I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's terrific. Well, um, I think then the last thing I'll ask is what advice do you have for people in their twenties that are, you know, I, I think these days it seems like a lot of people are waiting to get married yeah. um, a little later than it ever used to be. Um, right. So for those that are focusing on going ahead and making that commitment in their early 20s, mm -hmm. you know, what advice do you have for them in general? I would say don't let people tell you you're too young um, because it's so much fun doing life with the person you love. Um, and so, you know, just ignore all the people that say, why do you want to get married now? Like, you're 22. Wait until you're 30. Like, no. Enjoy life with your person. It's so much more fun. That's cool. I would agree to that. I am, um, gosh, not quite double your age, so we won't exactly talk about that. But <laughs> I do agree that doing life with your person is really where life is at. So. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for spending a little time with us today. And um, we'll make sure that people can find where they can catch up with you online to continue to see how things go for you, if that sounds good. That's awesome, yeah. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.